Good afternoon. We're standing here on Virginia Drive and we're here to look at number 127, which is one of the white semi-detached houses just in the middle of your screen there. Just so you know where we are, Virginia Drive is part of the new Witchwood Park development uh, located off Rocky Lane on the southern side of town. Um, if you come down Virginia Rock Drive, you would be able to come to the very bottom and then turn left and come up this road. But they are literally just finishing this development. It's hard to believe it, but this started four and a half years ago. They're building 340 properties here and the final phase is just being finished a bit further over. So all of what I'm seeing here, if you uh, look on our website, you'll see we put a link to the site plan. The property in question, which is this left-hand house here, is plot 62. And if you have a look at the plan, this is one of the best positions in the development, because not only are we quite elevated up here, we've got a view to the South Downs, but you're gonna be overlooking what is, believe it or not, Parkland, Woodland, there's gonna be a couple of ponds. It's all rather lovely. But sadly, at the moment, as you can hear, we've got a lovely road sweeper making a lot of noise. Um, this is currently the store for the remaining of the building uh, just here. So that will all be cleared soon and that's going to be re-landscaped for parking. Um, it's going to be quite lovely. So it's a nice development. And like I said, they're meant to be finished here in August uh, this year. So uh, in the summer of uh, 2023. So we'll be all done. So please ignore the mess and the noise next door when you come down and visit. But here we go. So this is built by, in, uh, the owners boot moved in in October 2021. It's built by David Wilson Homes to their Greenwood design. And as I mentioned, this is probably one of the best plots. The owners had the pick of the plots. But the other nice thing is you've got this long driveway, which you'll certainly get at least two cars. You might even squeeze three cars off it. And you've got your garage alongside. And these garages are actually a little bit bigger than normal garages these days. So as you can see, you've got power and lighting, plenty of storage space. I've even seen some people on these new developments started converting them into uh, uh, gyms and offices and playrooms and all sorts. But while we're here, I'm gonna quickly show you the back garden because the back garden's quite a feature. It's got one of the bigger plots as well. They've done a lot of extras in this house. So when you buy one of these houses, you get literally a handful of paving slabs. They've redone really all this landscaping and all these steps. And the back garden off the back doors, right into that corner is 55 feet maximum. And across the terrace is about 18 feet wide. So when you come around here, sorry, we're looking at the sunshine. It's quite a nice aspect. But um, come and have a look inside. I'll, I'll take you back around the front rather than walk you in the back door. I'll give you a sneaky peek though. Got this fab kitchen living area downstairs. But I'll come back around the front. So come this way. Like I said earlier, it really is worth looking on our website at the site plan and you just suddenly realise what a lovely position this is. And this development, I think, has been beautifully laid out. I'm not a, even though I sell houses for a living, I'm not a, not a big fan of all these new builds. I'd rather they kept the countryside. But actually what they've done here with the landscaping and all the open spaces is quite lovely. Right, so here we are in the entrance hall, fab hall. They've also gone for the Antico flooring throughout. You've got very useful utility cupboard there with a boiler. Downstairs loo with a window. And then this is where this house gets a bit interesting. You've got a little study down here. Now you could even call this a little optional bedroom. So there's, well, I'll show you, we'll be, as we go up through the house, it could be four bedrooms, depending how you want to live in it. But there's a little study, or do as you wish with it, like I say, bedroom. And then you've got this fab kitchen living area. Look at this. It's a really nice kitchen. Again, they upgraded the kitchen. When you're buying one of these new builds, you can buy the basic spec. This is the, I believe, the middle of the range kitchens. Uh, with better appliances as well, but really nice. I love these grey units with all the grey, uh, the, all the white uh, tiling and so on. So everything's built in, in there. Another handy storage cupboard in there. And then this really, depending on how you want to live in this house, this is just the kitchen living area. There's a lounge upstairs or that could be a bedroom. So do as you wish. And obviously that's spilling out to the garden. And the owner's done a couple of other upgrades. They put a lot of these plantation shutters in, which is rather lovely. And they also went for the wardrobe packages. So if you've been looking at the uh, Barrett Homes or David Wilson Homes site, you know, these people, what the, the price you may find on the internet, what these people paid for this house is not the price they paid because they paid out for a lot of extras on top of that. On the landing, big area cupboard there. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This really, as you can see, is the lounge. But again, use it as you wish. Could be another bedroom, do as you wish. And then the main bedroom, or should I say the bedroom with the ensuite is on this level. This house is an absolute show house, it's immaculate. Again, they are upgraded wardrobes, you don't get those as standard. And then this one has the ensuite shower over here. So 
So oversized shower, all nicely done. Again, they upgraded the tiles in the bathrooms. So lots of extras. And then on the top floor, you've got another two bedrooms. But it is really good because a lot of you are saying to us when we ask you, you know, what are you looking for? Or how many bedrooms do you want? The amount of you who say, actually, we don't need so many bedrooms. We want rooms because a lot of you are working from home. So having that study on the ground floor or whatever you wish is great. And another big bedroom up here. So top floor. Now I'm going to try and zoom out on this if I can, because you've got a view all the way to the South Downs. And like I say, across the road from us here is going to be all parkland. So you're going to have a really lovely outlook all the way around. So big bedroom there. And what is interesting, a lot of people are tending to use these top floors of their master suite. So you've got a bathroom, full bathroom on this level. I don't think this has actually been used. Absolutely spotless. And then another double size bedroom up here with wardrobes again, not, extra, not standard. And then this one's overlooking the back garden. So those houses you're looking at there are on Emily Way. If you come to this development, you'll get totally lost with the numbers at the moment because that building work just down below us here is uh, going to be opened up when it's finished and that will be the continuation of Virginia Drive. At the moment, if you come down Virginia Drive, you have to turn into, uh, I think, Massey Drive and then into Emily Way and then up the end of there, turn right back onto Virginia Drive. Like I say, if you get a look at the site plan, you'll get a better idea where you're going. But there you go. That's number 127 Virginia Drive. It's a versatile three-stroke, four-bedroom townhouse, fabulous kitchen, lots of parking alongside. Uh, on foot, you're 1.8 miles to the railway station. Something else I should have pointed out, just where I started the video, around the corner, there's an alleyway that cuts up um, through um, to Rocky Lane. So or up through Rook, um, Rookery Way and then to Rocky Lane. But once this development is finished, you can join the stream and the pathways down the very bottom of the fields, uh, which will link... Uh, down to the Fox and Hounds pub and there's actually going to be a new school off of Hurstwood Lane so it'd be quite it'd be quite a nice walk to the school if you can get your children into that one for secondary school kids you're in the catchment area for Warden Park Secondary Academy in Cookville but there you go that's 127 Virginia Drive I hope you like it if you are interested please give Manson McTaggart a call and please start following us on these our YouTube channel because our videos are live before these properties are on right move thanks for watching